What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is a Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me tonight, is, as always, is my buddy Mike. I messed that up. <laughs> Just tonight? What's up? <laughs> Just tonight. You've never seen Mike before in your lives, have nope. you? Nope. Uh, guys, what's going on? We're we're almost there. We're doing The Leftovers. We're going to discuss The Leftovers. Yes. We're episode seven. It's got to be the longest title of any show, of any, of any episode. It's titled The Most Powerful Man in the World. And his identical twin brother. Yeah. Which is funny because I didn't realize there was that parentheses. And I was like, oh, crap, there's parentheses in there. So it's a long, 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 long title. Guys, what? Yes. I... Oh, man. Uh, Mike, what did you think of this this episode, man? It was uh, it was definitely interesting to me, to, uh, to me when I first... When I first watched it, I I was, you know, I was just tr- so many things going through. Did you get confused um, about it? I was a little bit confused at first. I'm like trying to think like, can he, um, you know, do these people that he's seeing, uh, you know, when he goes to this other side, do they remember exactly who it is? Because sometimes the dynamic and the, and the, and the, uh, you know, the conversations that he's having with, with like say Patty or. They mean nothing. You know, yeah. Like, they're, 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 they're like. It's, it's, it's almost like they, sometimes they put things in there dialogue wise that make you think for a second that they know who he is yeah you know what i mean evie you remember like with evie you know he's like do you know who i am and she's like of course and like i'm like oh shit you know and then you know uh we were talking a little bit before off camera about how um the only person that seemed to know uh was was christopher sunday um that actually had that that um knew who he was, knew, knew of, of Kevin senior, obviously. Right. And, um, you know, you had said, you just feel like maybe because he's, he's more enlightened or something like that, which I guess could make sense. But, um, out of everybody there, obviously Christopher is the only one that was able to really communicate with, well, with you Kevin know, on the other side. Yeah. So basically, uh, and you know, and, and normally we do a synopsis, but the synopsis kind of sucked that, for this episode so you know we're not gonna you know obviously recap the whole thing but kevin agrees to to die and do these things for these people and he ends up going right so the there's a lot a lot of a lot of cool things happen in this um when he first gets there right and he he he's on the beach and what happens He, he he fucking he's about to get killed and then he gets saved by that weird douchebag that was killing dogs in the first the dog season, killer yeah right and then got killed in the third season this third season but he goes into the hut right he finds out that he's got he says don't look in the mirrors don't look in the mirrors and we find out that when he looks into the mirror he can mm-hmm. swap yeah which roles, which which, which he's roles. never done before he's never done yeah. you know it's never happened yet mm-hmm. um which you know, I, you know, one of the questions was, what is this world? Is this the afterlife? Is this, is this, what is this, you know? And I, I yeah. mean, I, I actually don't really have an answer for that. I, I'm like, I, I, there's a, I have a thread of something. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's, it seems to be, I mean, who knows? You know what I mean? There's really no right or wrong answer to what this place is or what potentially heaven, you know, so called can be or if this is, um, you know, an afterlife, or if, if this is like a limbo is this thing, his, like I think we is kind this of his afterlife. Is this his other plane of existence? Because yeah, these are people from his life, mm-hmm. and some people that he doesn't know. But like the guy who pretends he's God when he's the main character in this in this thing, and he's an assassin. World, yeah. And, yeah, and he has this yeah. role of assassin. But look, there's a lot of allegories in here. There's like a mm-hmm. there's a shit ton of allegories in here on based on who he is the fact that he's an assassin and you know so yeah let's talk about real quick the two kevins um how do you feel about the two kevins man that there were two kevins did it confuse you i mean i mean obviously when you know when they started um like with patty's glasses and he looks through the lens and then we see him swap and now he's a sniper on the roof um you know it, it it came together when they were talking about the key and this other person is outside. He's going to be coming the, in. He, he has the key the under mark, the, heart. the scar over his heart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so 
I mean, it wasn't necessarily confusing. They, they did a good job of, of putting that together. So I don't think it was confusing really for people. But the cool thing that I um, thought about, and I was just talking with a couple friends at work too, and they were saying how it's funny how what the man on the yacht, on the on the naked yacht from a couple episodes, was that last episode or no, two episodes? No, a few episodes four. ago. It was like two um, or three. How he said about um, when Matt was interrogating him and he was saying how Jesus um, – didn't come back he had a twin brother and i thought that was interesting to me um for the fact that you know we, we all think that kevin is the messiah well people are calling and him the messiah they call yeah he has these disciples he has these, these apostles that are following him john and mike and all these kind of things so i just thought that was interesting um that they kind of put that little easter egg in there that that um you know how this one man was talking about the twin of jesus that that we're thinking he is and he had one in this in this world you know what i mean yeah so um is it the two sides of him in a way you know is it um well i'll him, tell you him fighting with it with himself well think about it it's not really so it's not really two different versions it's two different versions of kevin but they're the same kevin from different oh, yes. times yeah. So yeah. you have pre-season yeah. three Kevin. So like season two Kevin, which yeah. was the original Kevin that went in. And then you have President Kevin, who yeah. that's third season Kevin, who after everything is there. So he's kind of split. So in my mind now, knowing that this, it ends and, you know, uh, he basically destroyed that thing. A lot of, a, a lot of things happen here where... <clears throat> We know that he was being guided, right? We know we know that he didn't know what to do. He's got these two pieces of himself. They're they're the same person. They're the same. It's just his again, just different points of of him, different pieces of him yeah. of his life. He 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 calls for guidance because he doesn't know what to do, so he calls Patty again. Yeah. He brings Patty back. She said, "You called me out of retirement." All yeah. of these words are not insubstantial like they mean something everything that everyone said in that episode means something and that means he called her back because he didn't know what to do he needed guidance he yeah. he he was lost he's been lost and now you know there's this whole scheme to blow up this world and everyone in it and you know yeah. and well it, I... it's i think i think <laughs> no, that has i think that's a deep-seated thing of kevin's that he just wanted it all to end. Like, you know, yeah. you know, in, in, in real life, he was putting himself in a, in a bag, which they showed a bunch of times, mm -hmm. you know, as, as like, look, look at everything he's done. Like, so this whole thing has been about Kevin. Oh, I mean, of, of course, you, you know, know? Uh, he's, you know, he's fighting with himself. However, you know, he's, he's, he's fighting with, with, Pulling, you know, he's getting pulled between two, like uh, he's playing tug of war with himself. You know, it's it's just funny because you know even at the end when when he cut, you know, his other self open to get the key and the you know the Kevin that was that was dying on the ground said you know we fucked up with Nora. Yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting. So I'm wondering how that's going to play, uh, you know, in the finale. But one thing with me, um, it's not a criticism, but the what's going to happen now because Christopher didn't give Kevin any kind of song, you know, but he we said saw the it same happen. thing. It was over. No, no, no. But what, what I'm saying with the potential flood or anything like that, how are they going to save on in the real? No, world? it's, a, it's over that past what? Mike. You didn't realize that it, it's gone. It's over. What do you mean? Because he wakes up the next morning and his father. It, was the, the it wasn't the next day. That It was today. I don't think so. I, I assumed well, it was because they today, were all... They all woke up. No, no, no. But they were... Think about it, dude. That was the next day. It was... It was... Because no. they went... They they were outside. They they had him outside. They were... The point is, is that it's over. There was no flood. There is no flood. It's done. He says, I don't know what to do now, his father says. I don't know what else to do now. He says, that's why I haven't come off this roof. It's over. We're done. Yeah, you, do you think get it? Was it? The They're next done. Day? It's done. This is the point. This is what you got to realize is that I don't know. I didn't take it as it was the next no, day. No, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's done, dude. Th there's no flood. Nothing happened. 
And so Kevin Sr. is like, I don't know what to do with myself now. I don't know what to do. Dude, do you realize this whole thing? And it's hilarious because my wife turned to me at the end of this episode and she's like, she's giving me a face and she's like, really? This whole thing was about him and her? And the answer is yes, because the the last episode is going to be him going after Nora. That's it. There's For nothing. Sure. There's yeah, nothing left, I mean, dude. It didn't happen, which yeah. is which is the whole point, which okay. is why. Okay, let's take it back a second. This whole fucking religious thing, this whole Jesus and the twin, it it, it was all a red herring, man. It was this show. There's one thing, and I, and I said it before, and I, and I don't want to get religious or political about it. So, mm. and I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings and, and step on what people believe in. But this show, this show is saying, look, religion, politics, all this stuff. It's, it's, it, it's not, number one, this is not what it's about. And two, this is what, the, religion isn't what it's all about here. Everybody yeah. takes it to that level, right? Everyone's taking it to that level. This is a great commentary about our existence and what would happen if a departure really happened and and i and i believe that what the guilty remnant all that shit yes people would do that people would form a fucking cult because they weren't taken in the rapture and then they'll yeah. be upset and pissed off and it's exactly what the fuck would happen this this show is like hey everyone look this is what we think would happen if this went down dude this show isn't about the rap we're not gonna fucking find out about the departure you realize that we're not going to find out about that. There's no answer. I mean, I mean, so it's I've 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 resolved myself to be like there's no fucking answer for that and we, and I don't care anymore. That's yeah. not the point. So if you're going if you think that you're going to fucking see what happened to everybody at the end of this show, you're not. Sorry to break it to everybody, you're not. Yeah. It'd be great if they did, but Mike, I'm telling you, bro, they're not. We're done with that. It's over. So the yeah. whole thing was about this one man. Right now because I have another theory. About to, I mean, there's something supernatural about him. Well, I, well hold on. I have a theory there's about something this. something we, we will we should okay. learn about. This is my I theory. Mean, this is my theory. He's not the only one in the world experiencing what he's been experiencing. Okay. I have, we haven't seen it yet, but I'm saying I think that no, there are more people like him in the world that can't die or can come back or whatever the fuck you want to call it. All the supernatural stuff, the departure, the gut done we don't we're not it's not for us to know uh, they're gonna leave know. that open and we're never going to have an answer this is about one man uh, and how he's what he's lost and what he's tried to gain back and who he lost in nora it's about nora and how she was and how she lost and what she's doing to try and get it back i don't know what's going to happen to nora no. i could speculate well, but I it looks like she she might go well, to she said, somewhere. She said, yeah, you know? I mean, at this point, I mean, From the... it looks like she's gonna go. But dude, that's what this whole thing was about. This isn't about I... the this isn't about the departure. This is about two people and what happened to them in this extraordinary um, event yeah. that happened in in the lives of everybody. This isn't because they've purposely made this thing like so arbitrary and so like hard to grasp and so out of reach because. There is no reaching. You're not going to get an answer. So, like, I'm yeah. saying to everyone out there who's watching this before the finale, don't don't expect an answer. If we get one, great. But we're not. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm kind of convinced that we're not getting an answer. Yeah. I we're mean, gonna, we're gonna <sighs> see what happens to these characters, dude. They've taken care of every character so far. They've wrapped mm. them up, man. You know, John has got his son. He laid. He was laying with his son. Kevin Sr., he doesn't know what he's doing anymore. He doesn't know where he's going to go. We might see some of that. Lori's dead. Nora, we're about to find out. Matt was with Lori, with, with Nora. You know, the kids, uh, um, uh, Jill and Tom, they're good. They're fine. They're done. They're fine. You know? Yeah. Everybody, the baby, she's with back with her mom. You know? Mm -hmm. Erica, she's all off in her own place. Like, everyone's done. We, they've settled everyone's game. It's everyone's yeah. over. And it's about yeah. it's about Kevin, and it's about now Kevin's world. Okay, what do you think? What do you think about the fact that he ended that world? Now, um, I'll tell you. It's I think it's because he he he's not ever going back to that place. That place is over now. That was his place. Of yeah, well, they even said it. He said it. Um, I think he said it to the other Kevin. He says, "I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to go here anymore. I want to go home." Yeah. 
you know, I think he was saying that to me. He said Patty. that to Patty. He said it to Patty. And yeah. She's like, what do you mean you want to go home? She's like, make up your yeah. fucking mind. Like, yeah, you no, come I here, mean, you go there. Like, I, I don't know. I, you know, it's um, I, I'd like to see some kind of payoff. I still think that there's something that we're we're missing with with Kevin and that we may get because honestly, for him to have this ability, I disagree with you when you say that there's other people that are doing this. I don't think that's. I don't think that's true at all. I think that there still is something. Um, I'm not saying he's not uh, special, but I'm not saying he's the only one. I don't think he's the only one that can get into this world. that can't die kind of a thing. I yeah, don't think that's, that's what that's... I'm saying. It's not that he's not special, but again, we're, I, I, I really don't feel we're going to find out about it. We're not going to find out yeah. why he's special. He just fucking is because there are things in this world that we don't understand. As as mm. alive beings right now, talking about a TV show, there are things in this world that we don't understand and that we're never mm. going to understand. The only time we'll understand them is when we pass and we move to the next plane. Then we'll understand. Then we'll get the holy answers, but that's not for us to know right now. So, And I think mm. that's what this is. I feel like this whole, again, this whole thing, all the fucking Jesus stuff, all the religious stuff, it's just... That's where most people would go with this stuff. And they're saying yeah. that. Look, guys, we understand. This is where most of you will go. And these are the things yeah, well, that they, most they, of you they, will go to. Kind of, they, they laid that kind of out right off the bat from season one. You know, that um, how, how different people will deal with this. You know, look at, look at Matt, for instance, the first uh, Matt episode where he was losing the church and he was doing everything that he could to... Um, get his church back, you know, because there was no one that that felt, you know, they felt like if if the departure happened, how could there be a god? Because they took my child, they took my wife, yeah, you, right, know, right. Took, you know, you know I mean. So the people lost a lot of faith. Yeah. So we saw how everyone was dealing um, with this departure right from the beginning. Everyone, yeah, everyone, everyone, they either turned to God or they turned to something else, or right. Yeah, that, it was that's, just that's something. Yeah, but no, I agree with you when you say that how they're showing us, you know. Um, that's that's how it would be potentially if um it was to happen or something was to happen in real life like this it just shows yeah. you how everybody would be you know families would be torn apart because say some people are still dealing with it some people want to forget about it and yeah. you know it's just how the natural human um instinct you yeah. know and how it's how we are it's like the fight or, it's like the fight or flight almost yeah and what would you do it's also yeah. how, it's so, also i think how people were raised like this country, yeah. this country, m m the entire world is raised on a religion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you don't have religion, I feel like if you don't have religion, you're not, you're a minority. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not, you're not in the majority of people. I think the majority yeah. of people, not only in this country, but in the world have quote unquote a religion, but that all aside, right. So that I think that's what the thing. But as far as what's going to go down now, I mean, because we should start wrapping this up. We're getting pretty far into it. But I mean, so, yeah, I mean, that's what I think. I, uh, you know, if, as far as the end of the, of the end of the show, you know, I feel like that it's over. It's done. That there's the, Kevin Sr. says, I, mean, I, I don't know what's left. I mean, you uh, say that there might be something. The day is no, I mean, over. I, I don't or, know. Yeah, I'd like to. I gotta, mean, you got to go back and check it again. The then same day. It, well, I mean, that's I, what I, I'm I saying. Kind of Besides, feel, it be, I kind of feel stupid that I didn't necessarily catch that. That well, way. but if you just if you thought it was the same way. day, you're you're assuming that something may still happen. But what I'm saying is, same day or uh, not. Even if, even if it is the same day, it's done because the the thing that was supposed to happen was the flood. According to Kevin Senior, you could be wrong. Now you're right. You're you know, right. You know they, what? They could be Listen, wrong. Listen, you know what? You're absolutely yeah. right. They, they because it, if it is the same day, okay, it could be this. Let's say it is the same day, and Kevin Senior yeah. was wrong, but let, but Nora is about to go do this thing, yeah. right? And what if Kevin goes to get? It could still end where everyone gets departed. Who who knows? Who knows? Yeah. I'm just saying that what well, they I, thought. Yeah. What they thought was going to happen, all of them, or Didn't at least, happen. yeah, mm -hmm. did not happen. So now, mm -hmm. now what? Not only did that not yeah. happen, you have Kevin destroying his, the world that he went to, mm -hmm. whatever that is, whatever, whatever. I don't think that was the afterlife. I think it was just another plane of existence for him. I, I, I still, oh, I still, I don't exactly know. If you guys have an idea, I don't cool. think anybody really, yeah. But I, I have this that's... thread. It's like this thread in my head where I'm like, 
it's just so cool to me though it just feels so oh i love it though i yeah. just love you gotta it, love this damn show man because this they don't they just keep doing things that you don't know that's why this finale is mm -hmm. like i really have no goddamn clue what i do know is this is that <laughs> i feel strongly that kevin cannot return to that place he's he's taken it upon himself to stop it Kevin has wanted to die the whole fucking show. That's just yeah. basically what's happened. He's just been unhappy. He's wanted mm -hmm. to die. Oh, again, I just, I, I, now seeing and knowing what I know about it, I think that he was a man who was on this path, on this journey, and he went into, he went into himself and had to look at himself and look at the people in his life and find guidance where he could find guidance and, and decide to take a part of him. He's been scared. He's been running. Exactly everything that they said. The end of that that novel. She makes him read the last page. That's yeah. him. That's what he's been his entire life, apparently. So yeah. they're saying, and he wanted to end that. And that's what that was. He was putting an end to that. Essentially, yeah. now he can do, be whoever he wants to be. He can be courageous. He can be strong. He can be a better Kevin or whatever Kevin he wants to be, but not that. Yeah. Uh, essentially killing that part of himself, killing all those pieces in him that he did not like or he yeah. felt were weak or whatever the case, but he can never yeah. go back to being that Kevin. That world is done. That Kevin's done. Yeah. Well, that means that he can't die anymore, you know? Yeah. I, and again, I, and you know, I'm not going to really claim to understand not what that die. is, but I'm, okay. I'm, I'm actually of the mind that we're not going to find out, and I'm okay with that. It's good. To, it's good to have some mystery left in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I guess I think in a way to not know why Kevin had this ability um, to go into this, to go in, you know, to this world and to this limbo, or you know, I, I think it would be, you know, hopefully we get a payoff on that. I'd like to at least know why. What was special about him? Um, and if you're if you're right, I mean, I do agree with the fact that, you know, he said himself, I don't want to go back to this place. So now um, was it just something like a gift that was given to him by some some spiritual um, being by, you know, the almighty yeah. um, just for him to figure this out? Right. And now that he figured this out, and he set the nuke off and everything um, that gift will be gone he won't be able to uh, die you know if he I, not that he won't be able to die but if he kills himself he, he won't, won't be able to come back to, that's right. it he's done yeah. you know what i mean uh he won't be able to come back so let's let's see i hope there's some kind of payoff um with 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 that well um, the actor said that it may not be what you think but it's it's a satisfying conclusion they said it's 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 satisfying yeah. they said so well give us give us something you know, maybe the world will never be. Maybe you're right. Maybe we won't see um, any of these departed people coming back, or maybe we won't get the answers to that. Maybe it's just a story, a show about the, you know this handful of of main major characters um, about Kevin primarily, and just whatever this is what happened hey, to them in this in yeah, this, this extraordinary circumstance. This is just one, like you said, a group it'll of be people. Like, uh, yeah, it'll be just like a, a good story where maybe him and Nora will live happily ever after kind of a well, thing. Well, don't forget now, we did see Nora. Yeah. So what yep. does that mean? <laughs> what the hell does I that don't know. mean? Does she get I transported? Is it years later? Is it like, I, I, I think, well, obviously, I think we're going to get the answer to that at yeah. the end. No. Look, it can't be any fucking worse than the goddamn Sopranos, which I finally finished, by the way. Oh, shit. All right. And I already knew about the ending of the Sopranos, that. but I took it all. But yeah, guys, it took me a long time to finish the Sopranos. <laughs> but like, I just finished that. And if you haven't seen the ending of the Sopranos, they that it just ends in a way that's like... Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. No, no, no. I'm yeah. not even going to say it, but I'm just going to say that it just ends in a way where you're like, what? 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 Yeah. Like yeah, there was you don't no, know what happened. Then you extrapolate, and 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 I have my own theory about the ending of that, and I'm satisfied yeah. with that because of the, of how the whole show was gone. But anyway, back to this show, um, <laughs> HBO man, they just they're so good. Uh, I think I think we should we should kind of end it there. Uh, yeah, this little debate stuff. But um, I mean, great great episode. I was the whole time just like, like the whole concept of him looking in the mirror and swapping bodies like swapping people like i mean I, like damn it that's so good it was yeah, so it was cool. good it was so cool you know um yeah 
he 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 just fucking shoot. He just shoots the uh um, uh what's her name? The vice president. Uh, yeah. Um, Liv Tyler. He just her? shoots Liv Tyler. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. he just is a you know Kevin Kevin the um the Australian Kevin came back and was his guy. The fact that um, what you call that that you know that he had to put his dick on the fucking scanner. And they were looking at him all like, oh yeah, they were just like they were trying to take yeah. peeks. And <laughs> they, my, I was talking to my brother about that, and he's like, he, he, I forget what he said now, and somehow like that was a throwback to like the first season or something. I think I don't remember. I got, well, I got, I, I got to yeah. talk to him about it again. But anyway, but maybe you guys know. Um, now, granted, we don't. Mike and I haven't like looked at Reddit for for any of this stuff because most of the people on Reddit don't have any idea. And again, it's all just fucking theories, and that's oh, fine. Of course. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to read the theories, and like I'll probably read it after the fact and see what people think, how, why it ended, how, and whatever. But yeah, I'm not. I'm staying away from Reddit because I don't want to know. Like I want my own. I want. I want to feel it myself. I want. I want to figure it out myself. I want to talk to Mike about it, and I want us to kind of, you know, navigate through it, which we're which we're kind of doing. Um, either way, I'm sad that it's going away, but I'm happy that we got it because it's just it's so it's so good. Um, going back and watching this again, Mike's like, I'm not doing that for the next seven years because I just, <laughs> he binge watched season one and two. Yeah. Um, and, uh, it's probably all one big fucking blur for him right now. Uh, uh but anyway, I mean, I don't know. Good. good stuff, man. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Sorry if this video was a little bit, a little bit longer than usual, but it's a good one, man. It's good. It was just a lot of, a lot of, what do you thinks? A lot of what do you thinks? <laughs> anyway, one more, one more to go. Can't wait. Um, what do you think, Mikey? What do you, what do you, where do you think it's going to end off? Just real quick. What's a? I mean, like I said before, I just hope I know we what you want to some see, conclusions. Yeah. Um, well, of course. I mean, I think I'd like to see what everybody everybody would would want to see is is where these people went let's get some answers you know what i mean let's let's get answers of the departed hold on, people hold on. if you could have one out. question one question and this entire show answered what would it be probably where the departed people went you know will we see them again kind of a thing are they dead you know what i mean all that in one really um i think we still may get that you know um, like I said, you know, earlier, I kind of feel like I missed out the whole we passed the day kind of a thing. Um, so I was hoping that, um, you know, we would see that they were right, you know, that Kevin Senior was right about the flood and all these things. But, I mean, if it's the case where um, that the day has passed, um, who knows? You know, it doesn't necessarily – remember, the seven-year thing was made up by just it's arbitrary people. what the hell yeah. yeah it was you know it was because you know the seven and matt explained it with the bible and, and sevens is the number and all this kind I'm of saying, stuff you so can it make anything anything with with anything. it can be yeah the end you know could be you know 10 years three months and 14 days you know what i mean yeah. so um you know let's, if there let's even see. is going to be an end you know what i mean like it doesn't... yeah no i agree but like i said you know um, it would be interesting to see where these these people went, where these ends, departed yeah. people went, or even if we get a little scene where, um, you know, we see these people maybe like at in the end, another like the, like dimension the last shot, or something. Right? Yeah. Like the last um, shot is where they are, and yeah. you can decipher that on your own. Let's see. Right? Let's see. Yeah. Maybe maybe Nora will go there. You know, that would be, that would be you know, if she really goes to this place and she sees her children and we'll see every, you know, we see her go somewhere, you know, from the coming attraction. So let's, let's, uh, I'm going to hope for that. You know, yeah. I'm going to hope that she goes to this place cool. where that, where everybody went. Cool. Yep. All right. Good stuff. Well, yep. That's going to do it for this episode. And, um, again, guys, you know, as always, let us know what the hell you think. I mean, this was, this was pretty crazy. It's yeah. a lot. It's a lot, man. A lot going on, and a lot can happen. So, I mean, let us know what you guys think about what we said here, and if if you guys agree, disagree. Sorry. You know, Mikey. Um, if they wanted to get to us, uh, where could they get to us? Of course, everybody can always get to us at Third Person Pod on Facebook, on Instagram. Check us out there. Of course, on YouTube. Um, leave your comments below, and don't forget iTunes. You can listen to us there. Write a little review in there. We like to see what you guys think. 
Yep. And uh, yeah, as always, we got Comic Blitz, uh, comicblitz.com. You go put the promo code Third Person Pod, and they get you sell some free comics. We're still yes. affiliated with those peeps. They're cool. Uh, they're growing every day, getting new comics every day. So if you're into comics, yep. go check it out. If you want some really good stories like The Leftovers here, because this sounds like it's like a story out of, you know, the comics, right? Uh, yeah. Go check it out. There's some really good, they got some good stuff over there. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, go check out RetroSquat.com. Just go, just go do it. It's fun. It's gonna check be it good, out. Another fun podcast that I do. Uh, that's going to do it for us here, guys. Uh, once again, let us know what you think. And we got one more to go. And, uh, yeah, we just appreciate you guys hanging out with us. So thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.